another day trip with the Getaway Four Wheel Drive Club. Yes! We've got all the gang, but we're, we're complaining bitterly because there's no cafe or bakery. This is Lee, our wonderful uh, le trip leader for the day. Where are you taking us, Lee? Um, just through the Avon Valley National Park. Bush Ranger Country. A perfect area for Moondyne Joe to hide out and to hide his illicit activities. Cattle and horse rustling folks, just all lining up behind Lee, ready to take off. But before we left, what was that warning, Lee? Uh, just to uh, make enough noise while you're walking through the bush to scare the snakes away. The drive out here is quite beautiful. Beautiful views up here. Typical, Lee tells us to get going and he's chatting. With a convoy of 13 vehicles, as you can imagine, roadside parking was a little tight. We're coming down now to have a look at this mill. What's the name of this mill, Mr. Historian? Hey? Plunkett Mill. Oh, I thought you said pumpkin mill. So here we are, Lee. Wow. Gee, you wouldn't want to fall in there, would you? Which roll are we at, Jeremy? <laughs> Jeremy was on the canning stock route trip with me. I'm not sure if it was a timber no, a mill or what it was, but yes. uh, you know, uh, look at that. You see they're lined. Yeah. Because that that's not a natural formation. No way. Um, no, that's you've got another channel up there. I know the yeah. Yonder. Yeah. And what's that? That looks like a. It's another pit. It, it's pit. An, it's about the same depth as this. Uh, uh, what did you say they were for? I missed the start of it. We don't know. They don't know exactly. Mr. Phil, a historian, had some ideas. Probably there. their way of ca capturing water. It's definitely not a saw pit. No. no. Mr. Phil said he'd found a truffle. But we all know he's nothing but a truffle maker. It's a puffball. It's a puffball, oh. isn't it? <laughs> oh, well, Graham would have picked... Phil. This, this is <laughs> truthful <laughs> Phil. He's a lion low life, I'll tell you. <laughs> Look at him. No, <laughs> We've just left um, looking at, um, after looking at Plunkett Mill. Everyone's coming in, we're going to have a coffee. It's very pretty. I reckon there's a little waterway down here. The whole area, wall to wall wildflowers. Oh, look at them, aren't they gorgeous? There's also tons of wildlife. Emus, kangaroos, the place is a birder's paradise. Can you see that bird? Just there. It's not cool, it's got a white tail on it. I think it's a carnaby. How beautiful is that? Literally a couple of minutes up the road, we pulled off into a beautiful area. Plenty of room for the 13 vehicles. So we're all here and we're going to walk down to our next um, site that we're seeing. Mark's mum was very enthusiastic about coming on the trip. She announced she was even coming on the walk with us. So, Leslie, you've had a look at this precipice. What do you think? <laughs> no, I don't think I'm going to do it. <laughs> She's a wise woman. Here they all come. And here it is, a little trap. So, it's quite away from the bottom. Mm. Mm. Okay, here we go. This is where the kangaroos come through. That's where you get all the ticks. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh, Rona. Guess who came home with a tick? Oh, wow. Some of us pushed on through an even more overgrown area. It is a bit of a squeeze coming through here. That's where the train comes through down there. Hmm, very pretty. Look at that. Paddy's in here at the top of the waterfall. So that's a good sign. Unfortunately the waterfall was no longer flowing. Only a week earlier 
police said it was raging. But, as I say, the... Good days, even the leaves are beautiful. Mark's getting a good shot. Up the final bit of the precipice. Kim's just running up to show us how to do it. Mr. Lee, best trip leader ever, had a wonderful surprise in store for us for lunch. There we go. Whose barbecue's this? Lethal very likely. Lethal leaf. This is too deadly, Lee. I was a bit of a guts, I had two hot dogs. Look at this, we're having a little cry here and a commiseration. Look at that. Oh, if you look very closely, you can see a few scratches in there. Oh my god, you poor thing. That's the new Amarok. And now uh, we're heading down for the survey point. I nearly followed this guy in, but he was going to the loo. Lucky I didn't. <laughs> so we're just down this little track on this heritage trail. This excellent can was erected by John Forrest Survey Team to provide a visible feature for angle measurements from similar sites along the Avon Valley. We can actually walk right down the bottom following in the footsteps of the original survey team who walked up from the bottom, up and down, up and down. I thought, yeah, we'll do that. Off you go. <laughs> Bill, you're getting an attitude. <laughs> the original survey point is a dried out log stuck into a can. Later on, the place was resurveyed, and that's the yellow survey point you'll see. And look at how close it is to the original one. This yellow one, this was done with all modern measuring equipment. How clever were these original guys? You've got to take your hat off to those original surveyors. So, wow, lucky I knew this was meaning something. I might have grabbed that and thrown it in the fire. Good can, though. Okay. Look at the view, isn't it stunning? On every four-wheel drive trip, we have our own version of an icebreaker. Looks like we had a bit of a problem. Whew. It's an opportunity to mingle, offer support and advice, commiserations and Words of encouragement. It's a good. It's a good car. It'll be fine. I'm loving it, Lee. I mean, it's all part of the excitement, isn't it? Really. It is. Once the burnt clutch cooled, we took off to our next point of interest. Okay, we're all heading down to the cave. Over the years, bushfires have taken their toll on many of the ruins out here. We were quite befuddled as to what we were looking at. So it's got stones around it. It's all overgrown. Get up there, V. Let's have a look. On that other side, see what's going. Yeah, definitely, these are constructions. It doesn't look like a cave. What was What was the purpose of the cave? Well, I thought it was where he mustered his horses. It's not a cave, it's a cage. Oh. What was the purpose of his cage? When he caught the cattle and the horses and whatnot, he'd, he'd lock them in here. He was rustling. And he'd go to sleep and then the cage would fall apart and the cattle would get lost. Ah, oh, okay. Well, that, that's the end of um, all the things to look at here that I put queued up anyway. So now it's basically straight on this road. We'll be back out to um, Chittering Road and back home. Hats off to Lee for a wonderful, wonderful day. What a trip leader and thank you to the Getaway Club fantastic club if you like the video please click on the thumbs up sign if you want to make a comment or ask a question put it in the comments box below if it's a question I'll get back to you I promise now if you'd like to subscribe just click the button here
That way you'll stay up to date with all future videos. Okay, thank you very much for joining me. That's it from Rona's Roadshow. Bye-bye.